I'm not actually sure where we stand compared to Liquid. I think all of us, like looking at all three teams, are extremely close and anyone can beat anyone. So it just really depends on how things happen in the draft and what, like who makes the most mistakes in the game and stuff. Um, obviously today, like Liquid did better than, than we did, but maybe tomorrow it's going to be different and we actually smashed him. Like you never know, right? Uh, so I think it's really close between us. Hey guys, Parks Owsley here with the Shot Collar, joined by Broxa of Fnatic. You guys are two and one, you're done for the regular kind of like round robin, and we're going into a weird, I don't know, like rally best of five, where we're actually gonna find out which team, or which region is best, not just who has the one strongest team. But before we get into that, how has it been just coming over to North America? I really like it here. It's it's so different than how it is in Europe. Um, like everything is different. The weather is, is so much better. Um, like all the cars are different. The houses are different. Um, there's palm trees, so <laughs> it's really cool. Like when I'm sitting in my hotel room, looking out of the window, it feels like I'm in, in an American movie kind of. Because you know everything is something I've never seen before. Because I've never been in America. Um, so I usually see it in all the American movies all the time. So it's really nice, and the food is nice as well. So. Yeah, for sure. Welcome to Hollywood. Welcome to the, the movie city. Um, yeah, that was actually the first thing when I moved here was like the palm trees. That's what got me too. Yeah. So they're very recognizable. Um, so what then, let's see, you've, you've done, this is now your fourth international tournament. You've been with Fnatic on the academy team for a little bit, and then you were brought on, what, halfway through spring last year? Yeah. So now you've been with both Rift Rivals and Worlds and MSI. So which one of these tournaments uh, is your favorite? Because they're all very different. Um, I mean, it's so hard to say. Um, but I have tried everything at this point. I guess the most exciting one was Worlds. Uh, that's like the biggest one of the year and the one with most teams and where everyone really wants to perform. And there's so much hype around it. So Worlds was really amazing. but. Like if we think about the events that um, I've had the most fun doing or enjoyed the most, then it would probably be Copenhagen, like uh, spring finals, because it was in my hometown. I had so many friends and family coming to watch, so, so many Danish fans, and that was really sick. Um, and apart from that, I really, really enjoyed um, my first ever um, time, time playing in a stadium, which was spring last year. Uh, because before that I had only tried playing in front of a few hundred people and all of a sudden we played in the stadium in front of over 5,000. So I think Copenhagen and Hamburg really stand out, but if we're thinking about the experience as a world, then Worlds was really sick. <laughs> Man, that's cool. And maybe you can uh, come back to North America for All-Stars. That would be the last one you have to tack on. And then <laughs> within a year and a half, you would have hit up all the international tournaments. Um, that's awesome. So how's it been being on Fnatic then? Well, playing for Fnatic is, is really great. Um, well, the organization is really structured, like it has a good structure. And at the same time, the biggest amount of people in Europe are Fnatic fans. So just by playing for Fnatic, you automatically have a lot of people supporting you and trying to cheer you up all the time. Uh, so that's really, really amazing. Um, and yeah, like I really, really like playing for Fnatic. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't really have much to complain about. It's just, it's just great. Good. That's yeah. That's good to hear. And so, you guys, you went two and one. You lost to Liquid earlier this morning. Yeah. And I got to talk to some of your teammates and uh, Liquid players yesterday, and they had some fun kind of banter back and forth. So it's, I'm of course proud to see the Liquid side of that come through. And they're in their last game, right now. But it looks like they're about to lose to G2. So. Would you then say that G2 is the best team? Would you, do you think that you guys still might be better than them? Where do you value Team Liquid? I think uh, the strongest team in Europe, at least as a tournament, is really close between us and G2. Like I think looking at Europe as, a, Europe as a whole, us, G2, and Misfits are super close. And I think who's going to perform the best just really depends on the day or even depends on the game. Um, so yeah, I'm not actually sure where we stand compared to Liquid. I think all of us, 
like looking at all three teams are extremely close and anyone can beat anyone so it just really depends on how things happen in the draft and what like who makes the most mistakes in game and stuff um obviously today like liquid did better than than we did but maybe tomorrow is going to be different and we actually smashed him like you never know right uh, so i think it's really close between us and it it could even be tomorrow that one team goes 3-0 and actually still wins the region. So I know it, it is a crazy format with uh, like each team or the region picks the mm. team and then the other ones pick the other team that they want to play. Yeah. But it could be that 100 Thieves and Echo Fox lose and then Liquid plays game 3, 4, and 5. And if they win all three, then it's still NA is better than EU. So that means that you guys quite likely could play against them again. Do you have any thoughts about a rematch? Well, I wouldn't mind playing Liquid again. I think when we play Liquid, it's always really hype because we are so close, um, skill-wise, matching up against each other. So I definitely wouldn't mind playing them and hopefully get some revenge. Obviously, if we lose it, it's really going to suck. But <laughs> I'm confident that we can actually take them down if we play them again. And yeah, I mean, tomorrow is going to be a little weird. I've never played a best of five where we want to take part in some of the games in the best of five. So it's going to be a bit weird, but also really cool because like, obviously all EU teams are going to support each other and cheer each other up a lot. Um, like we've already done it, but especially tomorrow is going to be really hype. <laughs> are you guys working together as a region to to kind of decide who has the best matchups against each opponent? Actually, we, we haven't really talked about it yet, but I think the coaches are probably going to be talking a bit together about it. And generally, we're sharing a bit more strategies like between the EU teams than we would normally do. Some things are still being kept secret because we need to keep in mind that we're actually going back to Europe to LCS yeah. soon. Like, for example, we are playing Splice next week back in Europe, I believe. So we can't really reveal too much to them. Um, but at the same time, like we want to help each other a bit when wh wherever we can. Awesome. Well, best of luck, kind of, <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, of course, I am still rooting for Team Liquid and Echo Fox and 100 Thieves. But it's always great seeing uh, all of these teams come together. It's a fun tournament. Any last words before we head out? Well, I guess I want to say thanks for the support and uh, thanks for supporting both us and also splice and g2 and we'll, we'll try our best to to take down na tomorrow and show that EU is greater than na i guess <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you guys so much for watching we'll catch you next time hey guys parks Owsley here from across the pond thank you so much for watching that riff rivals interview it's super fun getting to interview these guys that darius always gets to talk to he's hogging all the fun but now it's my chance thank you so much for watching i look forward to doing more throughout the weekend and yeah, let me know which ones you want me to do. Please find more up here and down here. Like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, give me that feedback. I want to know why is NA greater than EU. Don't add me though. I'll catch you next time.